Hello and welcome to Now Let's Play. Me, Game of Six of Sileo, Tales of a New Dawn. Before we start, if you're interested in playing this game, you can get it for free on itch.io. But if you want to support the people that make this game and or get the newest version earlier, you can go to their Patreon. I think it's like $8 a month, but if you do it by year, it's $5 a month. It's kind of, Patreon kind of makes it confusing. Anyways, in the last Let's Play, uh, Ty encountered... Uh, I'm glad that they do this, because I'm like, um, who's the what now? Especially if you don't play it for a while. And kind of Kyrex, and they had a little chat, but it seemed like we kind of got out of that scene before it finished. And then we chatted with Diego, played some games, went to sleep, and then Axel and Dom came over, who were like, hey, we got the apartment, but also, thanks to Pina Coladas and a lightweight boy over here, we, or they, are a thing now. Hyena. Also, maybe I should bring this up so I can be like, okay, this person did this person, then I'm gonna da da da. Because I could say Axel and you might be go, who the hell is that guy? But I do be like that sometimes. And also, you get to see a shirtless tiger and a shirtless Roo. Oh, and uh, today's the fight. So, is that my face? That's more the feeling. Okay. Unrival. Dom and Axel made their way to the stands as Diego and I went to the change rooms. We were surprised, however, to discover that we had company. Oh, hello. Huh, you must be Logan. Yes, that is me. Diego leaned over to me and was severed in my ear. Psh, he looks kind of scary. Shh, he'll hear us. Is something wrong? No, no, nothing. It's, uh, good to meet you. Logan nodded quietly, adjusting the bandages wrapped around his forearms. The silence in the room was deafening. Dago was clearly on guard around Logan, not knowing what to expect. Logan, however, seemed comfortable, a bit very quiet. So was that wrapping around the forearm thing like, hey, to prevent your forearms from getting a bit of damage, or is it like, kind of giving supports to your wrists or something? So, uh, may the best man win? Yes, I look forward to facing you. Logan stood up and gave us an awkward wave before quietly leaving the room in the direction of the wing. This town has some weird people in it. Maybe he was just nervous? He didn't seem like it. I guess we just have to see what he's like in the ring. Diego took the opportunity to remove his shirt and then began a series of stretches and on the benches, preparing his body for the fight ahead. Is your body prepared, Luwu? How are you feeling? Do you think you're ready? As ready as I can be. The rest is up to fates, or whatever. Anything I can help you with? Hmm. How about a pre matched BJ? Sif. Our next fight begins in five minutes. Contestants, please make your way to the ring in preparation for it to start. As enticing as your offer is, I don't think we have time. Damn it. I mean, it was I was sort of kidding, but I wouldn't have said no. I guess I'll have to make it up to you one of these days. Also, I don't think you're supposed to come before a match. Though, Grant, I mean, I guess it depends, because, like, having your nuts drained makes you less aggressive and probably takes a little bit of energy out of you or oh, does take energy out of you but also tea but also it's like well if you're a bit lower on tea and a bit less aggressive you're more thinky which you know it depends on what kind of fight you're going for are you going for power or if you're going for trying to keep your head in the game i'm gonna hold you to that Diego continues stretches for several moments before standing up and giving himself a vigorous shake to further loosen up. Phew. Alright, let's do this. Good luck, Diego. We're rooting for you. Heh. <laughs> Here goes nothing, I guess. Also, thanks. Oh, one last thing. Yeah? 
I leaned over and gave Diego a kiss straight out of the lips, something that clearly caught him off guard. For luck. <laughs> thanks. Hopefully I won't need it, but you never know. Not like I'd ever turn it down anyway. I'll see you when the fight's over, Adrian. Do us proud, Diego. That's the plan. Uh, Diego made his way out of the locker room and towards the corner of the ring. Shortly after, I would follow... I would follow and meet up with a small crowd that had assembled in Sporium. In addition to Axel and Dom, who had arrived with us, Ty, Russell, and Lucas were all present as well. Lucas? I didn't expect to see you here today. Ty invited me along. Nothing much uh, needed doing today, so here I am. Just a couple of brunt tasks. Nothing that can't wait. And I don't really have anybody to help me with those. What do you mean? What about Eric? He's... well, he's injured again. Sort of. Huh? What about you two? Wait, what about you two? If you're both here, who's running the bar? When the bar be closed? Um... Did that thought not cross your mind last time? We have closed for the morning. Russell wished to attend as well, so it made sense to do so. Totally. We're working the evening, but this morning, it's all about Diego, dude. Uh, well shit. I'm sure he appreciates that. Our next fight begins in two minutes. Contestants, please ensure that you're in your corners and are ready to again. Isn't it weird that, like, speak loudspeakers always tend to be the shittiest? I gave Diego a few quick pointers when he came out. Ooh, woo. I do hope he is prepared. I know he's a touch worried. He'll do his best regardless, though. I hope that's enough. As do I. I believe in him. So do I. Let's just cross our fingers and hope for the best. It's one scary looking polar bear. Gaze over towards Diego, who appeared to be in deep contemplation, standing in the corner of the ring, waiting for the fight to begin. Yeesh, these five minutes were taking an eternity. I just wanted the fight to start, so we can get this over with. Win or lose, I was gonna do my best. Everyone believed in me. Adrian believed in me. I didn't want to let anyone down, but especially not him. I guess I was kind of overthinking it, but it, he wouldn't think of any less of me if I lost. Nobody would, but I still feel as though I couldn't let him down. Looking over at Logan, our eyes connected. Lust in them. I mean, I tried to sort of size him up with my mind. Was I out of my depth with this guy? He's just like me. No, wait, he was like me, just bigger and stronger. Could I win with smarts? I was never that smart of a dude, but maybe I could count on Logan being dumber than I was. D that I was? What if he wasn't? I took some deep breaths. I was overthinking this. I needed to cool my head. Today's sixth quarter final match is the hard to again. In the blue corner, we had Diego, a quarter finalist with last year's tournament. Will we ascend into the finals this year? Or leave disappointed. Everybody, make it up. Turn here I go. The sound of cheering filled my ears, but more loudly from behind me, I looked towards this sound, seeing all my friends extendedly whooping with all with a call of my name. Adrian, in particular, was given particularly hard, wide smile on his face. I smiled back at him before the PA could do the call. In the red corner, we had Logan, the semi finalist in last year's tournament. Will he match last year's record? Time will tell. Get up for Logan! The crowd cheered once more. Was it just me, or was it quieter for Logan? Maybe it was louder in his corner. I don't know. Both fighters know the rules. For the benefit of first timers, here they are in brief. It doesn't matter how you height, just that you height. No strikes ahead, or the groin. Everything else is her gain. Rounds are limited to 60 seconds. With the accent of 10 rounds, in order 
turn their wind around. Contestants ascend the hut in three seconds. The first contestant, they three seconds. Who is your winner? Who is your winner? Let's begin. All right, Diego, you can do this. You can do this. I begin by closing the gap between us. Logan did the same, beating at the center of the ring. He seemed cool, calm, and collected. A far cry from how I was feeling. Was it just me? Was it just me that was nervous? Or was he just good at hiding it? Was I hiding it well? Or was it obvious how I was feeling? Shit, focus. I can't let myself get distracted. The two of us strafe side to side, neither throwing a punch. Presumably, he was waiting for me to strike first, as I was for him. His offensive playing was a bad sign. It must have been 15 seconds or more before he made a move, his arm telegraphing a punch. I moved to avoid it, only for his other arm to strike me from the side out of nowhere. Bastard faked me out. That's my trick. I tried the same only moments later, only for him to dodge my successive attack and begin telegraphing another of his. In preparation, I moved to anticipate his other arm, only to realize the telegraph attack was genuine, and I moved right into his punch. As I was recovering from the attack, a sudden vicious kick to my gut sent me flying backwards into the ropes, throwing me towards a forward to the ground. Logan jumped on top of me and started to spin. I mustered all my strength to try and throw him off, but it was no use. This guy weighed a ton. Score one for Logan! God damn it. Logan got off me, returning to his corner as I returned to mine. I cracked my knuckles and stretched my shoulders. Not that it'd make much of a difference. Bad start, but no worries, uh, no worse than with Russell. I should still very easily turn this around. I had to turn this around. Glancing across to my friends, I saw Adrian and Ty talking with concerned expressions. Russell and Axel still appeared optimistic. Well, Dom and Lucas? I mean, who even knows what with those guys sometimes? I have myself something of pep talk. I couldn't let them down. I wouldn't. This big ass bear is going down. Round two, fight. We close the distances again. This time, with Lugan engaging straight away with a strong punch. Thankfully, I was prepared for it, and was able to dodge it, while striking Logan with a counterattack. It seemed to bounce right off him. He didn't even flinch. I knew a few more, I threw a few more, each landing successfully, but having little more impact than the last. On my final punch, Logan grabbed my arm in midair and twisted his body around, successfully lifting me off the ground and throwing me over his shoulder. As I crashed to the ground, I quickly scrambled out of the way of his incoming pin, only for him to grab my legs and pull me back before throwing his entire weight on me. He knocked the air right out of me. I struggled once again to get out from under him, seeing stars all the while, but my best wasn't good enough. Score 2-0 to Logan! Shit, 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 shit! My best wasn't good enough. What could I do to beat this guy? He was stronger than me, heavier than me, and trickier to boot. I couldn't predict his attacks. Looking back at my friends, Adrian Tyre looked even more concerned than before. Adrian gave me a smile, no doubt trying to cheer me up. And it kind of worked. I wanted to make him happy. I know how badly he wanted me to do this. I couldn't let Adrian down. I just couldn't. This runs for you, Adrian. Round three, fight. I tried to take Logan by surprise, as I'd done with Russell, rushing forward to the center of the ring and into him to try and knock him off balance. Of course, he definitely moved out of the way and tripped me with his foot, causing me to fall, nose first on the ground. He tried to pin me again straight away, but this time I managed to squirm loose, getting back my feet and creating some distance between us to catch my breath. I opened my nose with the back of my hand. Was that blood? Shit, I was bleeding. I steeled myself and closed back in. The first, I first attempted to sweep him off his feet, which was an unfortunate failure. He was just too heavy. I couldn't trip him up. 
Come on, this is for Adrian. I've got to do this right. I threw several of my strongest punches at Logan, followed by the biggest kick I could muster to his side. It knocked him off center for only a moment, not nearly enough. It was then he countered my attacks with another firm kick of his own. I was staggered, but I held my ground, only for him to trim me up once more. I was exhausted. I could barely find the energy to pull myself back to my feet. Adrenaline be damned. I'd be knocked around so much in such a short time that I could barely move. It was to my surprise while Logan it was to my surprise while Logan walked right past me. Instead of taking the easy pin, it looked as though he wanted to finish me off. He began climbing the ropes in the corner. Oh no, he wasn't going to Okay, focus. If he lands his attack, it's over. But if he doesn't, I have a window to counterattack. This could be my chance. Looking behind me, I watched as he reached the top of the pillars in the corner of the ring and stood on top of them, preparing to dive on me. I mustered everything I had in preparation. This was it. As soon as I saw him begin to jump, I gritted my teeth and rolled several times out of the way. Logan tried to compensate for this by changing his ankle. Thud! He came crashing down onto the ring with a massive crash. He tried to get back up, only to collapse back on the ground. I was about to close in for a pin when something caught my eye. His left leg was bent in a strange angle, his teeth bared. Something was wrong. I lowered my fist and approached him cautiously. Dude, are you... are you okay? He said nothing, but the pain on his face was very real. He definitely wasn't okay. I waved at the PA, who sounded the fight bell, ending the round. Ladies and gentlemen, it appear we have an injury in the ring. Please stand by. I kneeled down beside Logan and offered him my hand. He looked up at me with a pained expression, still very much present, before he grabbed my hand, and I lifted him up, uh, up from his left side. I opened him back towards his corner, where the medical staff had assembled. He hopped uh, each step the way, wincing in pain through each vibration through his leg. You have to say, I mean, I guess this might be over, but I didn't see that coming. He was definitely not okay. He might even have a broken leg. I felt bad, and, and at least partic particularly responsible. I mean, I don't think you're responsible at all. He didn't attack, and you just dodged it, and he hecked himself. Hand them over to the medical school staff. They helped him to a nearby chair, where they sat him down and began examining his injury. I turned to my corner and left the ring and left the ring to join my friends during the downtime. Diego got out of his ring and walked towards us, a grim and uncertain expression on his face. Jeez, what the hell just happened? I uh I think he might have broken his leg. Oh no, is he okay? Well, obviously not, if that's what happened. Holy shit, what does that mean? I looked across the other side of the ring to see a member of the medical staff approach the PA and have a brief conversation with him. Shortly after, the PA sounded and confirmed what I expected. Unfortunately, our contestant Logan is unable to continue the fight, and as such, we declare Diego the winner by default. The crowd was uncomfortably silent through the announcement. Diego's expression hadn't changed. Despite winning, it was certainly wasn't on the terms he wanted. Adrian, I'm going to go check on Logan. I'll come with you. As I, should, uh, should you not mind? Of course not. Let's go. We approached Logan, who was standing up once again, leading, uh, leaning against the fencing between the ring and the stands. His leg appeared to be normal again, but he nonetheless had it raised, not making contact with the crowd. Dude, are you okay? It's fine. Dislocated it. It happens. It's fixed now, but I won't be walking on it for a day or two. Most unfortunate. Not really. I did this to myself. I feel kind of bad, dude. That should have been your win. Like I said, I did this to myself. I couldn't finish the match. Those are the rules. I imagine if the medical staff had gotten it back in place, a few days of care and recuperation should suffice. 
Tell me, how did you typically address your aches and pains? Or how do you? Well, I usually go to this hot spring nearby. Ah, yes. They are little known hidden treasure. I happen to know the owner. I couldn't think of a better way to recover. But there's no access from the road. You have to climb stairs. Ah, yes. That is a problem. Yo, Logan, I feel bad. So, if you wanted to go there, I want to help. Help? Yeah, it's the least thing I can do. I'll help you get up and down the stairs. Someone's at Lee to the hilltop overlooking the town, right? Or same. Yes, that would be the little... They're just a little past that. How about it? Adrian and I will help you get there and back. To be honest, with how hard you hit, I could use some relief too. Okay, thank you. That, then it's settled. Adrian, you're in too, right? Of course. Ty? I'm afraid it must decline. The bar must open during the evening. And besides, I have some other business I need to attend to today as well. Alright, say goodbye to everyone for us, okay? Adrian and I are going to take this big fellow with us. Of course. And congratulations to both of you. Results notwithstanding, you both fought well. Thank you. I fought like shit, and you know it. But that's a conversation for another time, I guess. Indeed. I let the three of you on... Uh, I let the three of you head on your merit way. Ty bowed politely before he taking his lead back to the other end of the ring. I'm so sorry, dude. Or so, so sorry. It's fine. I'm gonna get my clothes from the change room. Are yours theirs too, Logan? Yes. Pink bag. Pink bag, huh? Or pink, huh? We'll be right back. Didn't I see you at the bar? That's right. Both of us work there. I see. Your friend is a weird one. He's my boyfriend, and he's definitely a weird one. Boyfriend. Cute. Hmm. Bugger, that's one thing I don't like about doing these things where it's like, okay, that seems like a good starting and stopping point. And then I look at the timer and it's like, bugger. We have a decent amount of time left. Though, maybe I could do this with a bit more wiggle room and be like, hey, it. we have seven minutes left. That's either going to be an extended let's play or we're going to have to cut it in the middle of something. And I think we just kind of want to cut it. You know? It also makes a better episode's title. So that's going to be the end of this let's play. So comment, cares, I like comments, tell me you like, dislike, tips, because otherwise, if you like YouTube and likes it grow, then please like, subscribe, and check out other videos too. If it grown, please remember to spay near your animal self control the pet population. I saw this thing up here, but I guess. Oh yeah, it's over there too. I was like, oh, there's something on my screen. It's like, no, that's actually part of the thing. Is it do be like that sometimes? But, uh... And also, I feel like this whole thing is going to be an entire episode in and of itself. And until next time... Oh, right. Spay new to your animals, like, subscribe, and check out the videos, comment. Uh, if you want to play this game, I think it's $8 a month, but if you do the yearly version, it's only $5 a month. And, you know, and if you want a free game, it's I.O. Anyways, until next time, let's wait. Me. Game of 6. Outside Leo, Tales of a New Duan. So thanks and see ya.